Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, and it's time to cut the soap I made yesterday. Okay, if you watched the video, didn't do exactly as I anticipated, go figure. That sometimes happens. With the tall column mold, watch the video if you didn't. The tall column mold, you have to have, in my experience anyway, you have to have a thick trace, at least a medium thick trace, or it'll leak, even if you line it, which I do, and you have to have a really hot gel phase to be able to get it out of the mold. Well, I had that. I had both. And it came out of the mold easily. You can see how shiny the smooth the side, how shiny and smooth the side is. That's an indication of a really hot gel phase. Worked great. Now, what I was going for was one when I did this before. This plum purple is the scent oil that did it, and this side I was wanting to do the drop swirl, which turned out great in this bar. I wanted to do it in this mold, and in this particular batch, the, the black, I wanted to be red instead. Well, it didn't quite happen. It got super thick really fast, so I'm having all kinds of different results, because basically I had to plop the white and the red into the mold. Now, when you have your um, horizontal mold, like your loaf mold, the spoon plop is one of my favorites because you plop it in and it spreads it out and plop it in and spreads it out. But when you're doing the column mold like this and you plop on the top, you can't really get it to spread out. So it didn't do what I wanted. Still looking nice. Now, I went ahead and pre-cut a few of these. And I'll go ahead and cut the rest. This is the part that is uncolored, but the scent oil is going to turn it this really, really nice brown. So essentially, this is what this bar is going to look like when it's finished. You know, I'll cover that up. That's about what this bar is going to look like when it's finished. So, definitely not bad, just not what I anticipated. I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting these. So, here we go. I was going to do it earlier this morning, and my wire broke. I've had this cutter for quite some time, and I use it at least once a week. So, really surprised at how long the wire held. My son's in a band and a very experienced guitar player, and he rewired it for me. Because my aging eyes just cannot see it that well. Okay, that one's almost solid white on top. They're all going to be different because of the plop. Really hated that I couldn't get the drop swirl because that would look so nice with this, but it happens. I use the exact same recipe I used in the other, and I really like that recipe. Also got a nice hard bar of soap because all the hard oil's in it. The last time I made this, this color took several weeks to set up. However, look at my bowl last night from last night. I haven't cleaned it out yet. It has already turned the dark plum that that soap's going to. That is from less than 24 hours. That's not a real good picture of it in this camera, but it's a beautiful plum color. Completely uncolored. It was the scent oil that did that, just like the top of this, that beautiful plum color. The scent oil did that. I put no color whatsoever in that. And that's what these will do. I think it was a combination of the water discount, which I did to prevent glycerin rivers, and the really high temps. I should have maybe let it cool down just a little bit and backed off just a little bit on the stick blending. I didn't go hog wild, but I did a little more than usual because I saw what I thought were some oils floating on top and I didn't want to have any. I should have backed off on the stick blender. 
but it happens. And this is not bad at all. And I love the combination of the two scents. The Herbalicious from Nurture Soap and what will be the dark purple. And the Apple Sage from Brambleberry and the white and the red. Very nice. And this is a really nice red. You know, red is hard to get in cold process soap. But this turned out to be a really nice red. I'm really happy with it. I'll be just a minute. Sorry, we're getting ready for Mother's Day. All right, now we're starting to lose the pattern here. This is getting near the top where I just pulled the center divider out and plopped everything in. So, yep. Still kind of neat. Let me think. Is I going to cut that one? No, I'm just going to keep that one for me. So here we go, that one will be mine. All right, everybody, let me get you into the full picture. You can see the whole thing. So, not one I expected, but definitely not bad. And I'll try to show you every week how this color is maturing and turning that beautiful plum color. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. I will see you next week, and bye.